And we're back. I don't know what happened. It just everything said, nope, Mary, you're done. Boop, and done. <laughs> and I couldn't get it back. It said it was reconnecting and then it never reconnected. So I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm sorry that uh, the people that were watching, I hope you find me over here. <laughs> Hi. So I'll just keep going and hopefully everybody that was watching over there can come over here. Thank you. I, I don't know what happened. It just decided that it, I was finished. Maybe I cursed things when I said I'd be happy with just what I got already. I don't know. Anyway, so let's open this, this one here all wrapped up in tissue, which means it's going to be good stuff, right? Well, all good stuff so far. Let me just make a little room here. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, good morning. Oh, yes, she listened and she knows me. So here is a, oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. It's a pendant of a dragon. Look at that. Come on, focus camera, focus. There we go. Look at that. That's awesome. I just got to find a chain to put it on, but that's, that's nice. That is nice. And a parrot pin. She knows how much I love parrots. So I don't know if I should do my disclaimers over again. So I'm real quick. I have a dog that barks. She might bark. I might jump. Because <laughs> we have feral cats outside. <laughs> And um, I also tend to drop words. So I might have a lot of times when I'm trying to figure out a word, but that's just part of my charm, right? <laughs> so here's another parrot pin. Look at that. These are so pretty. Oh man, I'm gonna rock these. Uh, and then what is this? What is this? It's like a finger long ring. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's a snake. A dog is in a blind cat. Look at that. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. Look at ring. Oh, and it bends. It's bendy. Oh, man. Oh, that's, that's just, that's just awesome. I'm just going to wear this grocery shopping. <laughs> People look at me like with my t-shirt and mom jeans, you know, that's really awesome. Oh my gosh. I've never even seen anything like that before. All right, let's go to, it does kind of look like Medusa. All right, next. My goodness. You know, I bought this lot with the feeling that like I would keep a couple of things and then maybe resell some and... I think oh, so far I might be keeping it all. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Sherry didn't come back. <clears throat> oh, necklace. Ooh. Oh wait, where's the where's the back? Here it is. Look at that necklace. That's nice. It's like um, aqua turquoise teal colored. Very mod. I love it. That's nice. I'll put that on my neck. It's nice and long. Hmm. And another one. What? Oh, this one's nice. It has a little feather on the end. Well, turquoise, yep, because she listened to me when I said I like turquoise, too. I'm very impressed. I mean, usually when you buy lots of stuff, um, you know, you just get like a hodgepodge of junk. But uh, she really listened to me, so here's some more turquoise. I think I have a necklace that's very similar to this that my grandmother gave me, actually. So... Oh, man. Oh, look at this. What is this? How does this open? Is this a necklace? This must be a necklace, but it doesn't fit over your head. 
It must open some way in this thing right here. I'll have to figure it out. Oh, it does. It's magnetic. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, I like that. <gasps> yes. It's like a chain necklace. Look at that. With little... Come on, camera. Come on, camera. I'll force you to focus. There we go. Little rhinestones hanging from it. Now that is my style right there. Yeah, this one's staying with me. This one's staying with me. Ooh, this is pretty too. Oh, I love the color. Look at that. Now on my screen, it looks kind of blue, but in, in person, it's very like aqua turquoise teal. Oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous. Oh, I hope that fits because I want to keep that one too. Do I have any other children to marry off? No. <laughs> one. Yeah, one. Maybe two. Maybe three. I guess I do. No rush, kids. Okay. I'm just thinking that would make a great mother of the mother of the bride or mother of the groom. Okay, so last thing is the box. Let's see what's in this box. I'm really impressed so far. I mean, I don't know. I haven't been counting, but I feel like I, I've. I mean, I'm not going to count, but 50 pieces. Here's a wooden bangle. I probably won't fit over my wrist. Nope. Because my wrist isn't very big, like around here, but my hand, like I have a hard time getting bangles over my hand. This is a pretty bracelet. Now those, that kind of bangle I can wear because you can just slip it right over my wrist. That's really pretty. I like that one. Oh my gosh, this box, you guys, this is like full of bags of stuff and more wrapped up. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Let's put that in there. There's so much. It's like, what do I do with it all? I just, bangles, I can't get them over my hand. I mean, I don't feel like my hand's really very wide. I'm a pretty small boned person. I just have a few extra curves that I probably shouldn't have, but but I can never get them over my hand. I, and the, if I if I manage to get them on my wrist, they fit pretty well, but I just, even if I collapse my hand, I just can't get my hand through them. So, ooh, now here's a bracelet. Look at that. That's fun. That's a fun bracelet. Focus, camera, focus. Work with me here. It's like beaded. It's kind of boho. I like that. Oh, and I like these. I like these clasps. These toggle clasp. Right? That's what it's called, a toggle clasp. Yeah. You just listed one like that yesterday. Like the bracelet? You listed one like the bracelet yesterday? Oh, oh, I love these. Oh, I may even just go ahead and put these on, take off my other ones. Where's the hook? Look at these. That's awesome. Look at, look at these. That's fun. Yeah, I'm gonna take, I'll put those on. Oh, the rhinestone chain necklace. Well, I'd ask how much you sold it for, but I'm keeping it. <laughs> Let's see if I can get my earring in on live video. There it goes. Yeah, I like these. Good choice, good choice. I love the colors. 
Oh, you haven't sold it yet. Just listed it. Well, good luck. I mean, it should sell quick. I think it's really nice. I think those are really fun. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with this. This one doesn't want to turn around, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, here's a couple of really fun looking clip-on earrings. Now, I can't really wear clip-on earrings, so these don't go up for sale, but enamel, and they are marked by... Oh, they're Trafari. Yeah, these will go up for sale. Because I just can't do clip-on earrings. They're too uncomfortable on my ears. Let's see. Where was I? And another Disney pin. Oh, I love it. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. My first Disney pin ever I got in the 80s. And it was part of a... Um, special when you bought the Snow White and the Seven Dwarves VHS videotape. That's that's how old I am. <laughs> and um, they had they had different. You know, you could get any of the Seven Dwarves or Snow White as a pin. So of course, you know, the only way to get the whole collection was to buy seven videotapes, and I wasn't going to do that. So I bought the one with Dopey because Dopey is my favorite. And ever since then, I've been looking for the rest of the set. And it seems like everybody I get in contact with says, um, oh, I just sold mine. So one of these days, I'll just pop on eBay and probably find the whole set in one, one swoop. So, all right. Oh, these are, oh, this is an earring lot. These are lots of earrings. Oh, I see. These are two earrings put together. Let's take that off. These are little hoops. These are nice. I like these. These are fun. They're, they're little, you see that? Gold hoops with these little, these little circles on them. I don't think they're marked. I don't see a marking on them. Of course you can't see anything either. Unless it's on the back, no. Those are nice. Those are very nice. Understated. There goes my dog. There must be a cat on the porch. At least she didn't erupt this time. She's just growling. <laughs> there must be a feral cat on the porch. Oh, I can't get these apart. She'll either get worse or she'll stop. I'm not sure which one. Oh. Uh, lift it up. That takes. That opens it. Hey, Peyton. It's good to see you. We miss you over in Texas, gals. Okay. Well, I don't know. I'm having problems with these earrings, but I'll figure them out later. But they're really cute. They're little hoops with these little things. They're kind of stuck up there. I'll just have to force them down later on. I like those too. My dog is a, she's a Jack Russell Beagle mix. So she has both the Jack Russell anxiety and bark plus the Beagle howl. It gets really fun around here. <laughs> These I love, I love, I love. Look at those. I do love purple. Something just fell over back there. Oh, I love those. Definitely keeping these, too. Seem to be keeping a lot more than I'm planning on selling. Oh, well, we'd love to have you back, Peyton. We do miss you around there. These are just my speed. They're kind of small for me. I mean, I do like big dangly earrings, but sometimes, sometimes I tone it down and wear little ones like this, and these are perfect. Because I have a lot of clothes in these colors. Because, like I said, I like a lot of color in my clothing. My husband likes <laughs> boring colors. I like I like lots of colors. These are fun. Look at these. Little earrings with the striped and the rhinestones. They kind of remind me of Where's Waldo, right? Waldo's on my ear. I don't think they're marked. <laughs> Waldo's on my ear. Nope, they're not marked. 
They're fun, though. I'm trying to think if I have anything they'd match with, because I'd like to have a reason to keep those. <laughs> My husband's going to be like, you're supposed to be selling this stuff. <laughs> well, I'm keeping most of it. These are gorgeous, too. Oh, my goodness. Look at them. These remind me of my grandmother. Yes, definitely. For the 4th of July, the striped ones. These remind me of my grandmother. A lot. Oh, and here's another, another, whoops. <laughs> it just fell off. Another pair of hoops with the dangles that just popped off. So I'll have to put that back on, but it looks like this. I like those. I like the little beads. It's pretty. I'll have to put that back. I'll put that back on later on. And these are, uh, I just probably put my glasses on. Green stones and rhinestones, earrings. I don't think they're marked. They don't look like, they're very pretty. I wonder if the color that I'm seeing on my screen is what you guys are seeing. Cause on the screen they look gray, but in person they're green. So hopefully you guys are, oh my gosh. Okay, these earrings, I have a necklace that I was just about to list, that these earrings would actually match. And now I'm considering, uh, I can't keep them, I can't keep them, I can't keep everything. Come on, focus camera. There we go. Now I'm considering maybe putting these all together as a set, like a gray green. I know, and my jewelry boxes are getting full. So now I'm at the point where like, I need more jewelry boxes. And it's really funny because I'm seeing, I saw um, uh, uh, somebody's video, I can't remember who it was, maybe Crazy Lamp Lady, when she was um, walking through the thrift store and she saw a jewelry box. And I yelled at the at the YouTube video, which was, which was pre-recorded, <laughs> wasn't live. Grab that jewelry box. <laughs> <laughs> because I need another jewelry box. And it actually matched the one I already have. The jewelry box I have looks like a pirate's treasure chest, and that one looked the same. It, Yeah, I can keep it till I'm sick of them. You know, that's kind of what I do with everything, because I, in my, in my soul, I could be a hoarder. I could be a serious hoarder. Like, my goal when I was a little girl was I was going to have a house with Floor to ceiling shelves, I'm not even kidding, because my great grandmother had floor to ceiling shelves around her entire dining room that she kept books on. And I was gonna fill mine not only with books, but with cooking and all kinds of collectibles and glass and all sorts of things. And I started doing it uh, when I was married uh, previously and having my babies and you know, in that stage of life. And I started collecting teapots and I started putting them around the top of the kitchen. And then I quickly realized I was running out of room faster than I was satisfying that craving to have a wall full of cookie jars and teapots. <laughs> so I have to get creative with my collecting now. So I collect little things like those pins, but actually I've, I've had that pin collection since I was, I think my very first pin was probably my brownie pin that I still have my brownie Girl Scouts pin. So I've been collecting pins since I was probably six or seven years old. So I just stuck with that instead of cookie jars. <laughs> but I still I go to I go to thrift stores and I pick up the heavy uh, the heavy thank you Buster. It's so nice for you to join in. <laughs> Um, I pick up the, you know, the heavy, the big heavy glass pieces and I kind of want to keep it and then I talk myself out of it. So let's get back to the jewelry. Here is a nice, oh, look at these. It's like a Celtic cross. Really gorgeous. So sorry guys, we have some, we have some people that don't have anything better to do, I suppose.
Let me just give me a second to get rid of these people. <sighs> okay, sorry guys. That's just part of the, you know, you get on YouTube, but I don't know, people just kind of pop out from I don't know where. Like, don't you guys have something to do? A job to go to? Kids to raise? Dog to feed? <laughs> where did I read that somewhere lately? It was really funny. <laughs> but <clears throat> anyway, these are these are marked uh, H HMK CDS. So I'll have to look that up. But I like these. They're very pretty. Celtic crosses. Okay, so that was that that bag. Eh, I don't understand it, you know. It's like it doesn't bother me. It's just people doing their thing. I don't have to listen to it, but I'm not gonna spend any time on it either. So Hallmark CDS. Oh, HMK would be Hallmark. See? That's 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 why I keep you guys around. <laughs> Because <laughs> it just doesn't, that stuff doesn't. It would have dawned on me like later as I was looking it up on Google. Oh, hey. <laughs> so, okay, we're opening one of the, as you can tell, one of the wrapped up pieces. Oh, there's a lot in here. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, hang on, we got a little knot problem here. There we go. Celtic necklace, which actually looks a lot like one that I already have. So I am adding this to my, dare I say, collection. It won't focus, of course. There it goes. Very pretty. I like that. And this one, oh, I see a snake, which means I'm keeping it. Sorry, honey. Jewelry box is going to have to get... I'm going to need another one. Look at that. That's a nice necklace. Let's put that on, huh? That needs to be put on. This needs to be worn. I imagine that uh, if my channel ever gets bigger, I'm kind of thinking of... Thank you, Sherry. I'm kind of thinking of monetizing and all that stuff. And I imagine that if I do that, these guys will come out in droves. But, um, you know, that's why you just kick them off your channel. <laughs> oh, I like that. I can make it a little bit shorter, too. But I like that. You keep that. You're going to be hearing me say that a lot. Oh, I like that. I'm going to keep that. Oh, Ooh, this is kind of steampunky. I like this. Look at that. It's like a it's a like a brassy gold color. That's nice. Oh, you know that would look good with a tank top. Kind of boho and kind of steampunk. All in the same very nice, very 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 nice. Okay, that just has three necklaces in it. So, we have two more. <laughs> yeah, the one did say I was pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Us grandmothers need to hear that a lot. So you just keep on saying that. You can come in and be a jerk on my channel so long as what you're saying is that I'm pretty. That's fine. <laughs> okay, let's see. We got a few things in this one. Oh, my gosh. I'm really glad you guys are joining me. Like, you know, I could have just opened this by myself, but why do that when you can share the fans on? It keeps blowing my hair in my face. It's driving me crazy. But, you know, why open it by myself when, when I can have other people that love jewelry? Ooh and ah over it with me. So look at this. This is straight out of something my grandmother would have worn. That is just so perfect. Come on, camera. Come on. Pretend you like me. There we go. Oh, I love it. It's very Art Deco. It's gorgeous. 
My own kids would troll me if I did a video. My granddaughter watches me, and um, that really makes me feel good. I'm glad that my kids are. I raised. My, I I don't think my kids would dare. <laughs> I think they'd be like, they'd probably be a little, a little worried about what would happen if they trolled me on my own. The wrath of mama. Look at this bracelet. It's a stretchy. Which generally, okay, in the past, start a PM, I had to block them, you know, some of the people I went to high school with too. I hear you. So in a past video, I said some. I made a comment that I don't like stretch bracelets and I find them cheap. And it was a general comment because I own some stretch bracelets and I even own some stretch bracelets that by that standard, I would probably say that they were cheap. Um, I just, in general, don't like stretch bracelets, but I, I recognize that there are some stretch bracelets that are very nice and that stretch bracelets have been around for a long time and there are some vintage ones because I own some and uh, they aren't all the cheap ones that come from China that you pay $10 for or <laughs> $3 for. But um, this is a nicer one. I'll, I'll admit, this is a nicer one, and I can see myself wearing this. I like that. And it's comfortable. A lot of times those elastic ones, they catch my skin or catch my hair. They'd love to change. <laughs> oh, my kids have a healthy sense of humor. So, but I think they would just say it to me. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, I don't know. Maybe I'm challenging them now. This might be a mistake to be talking about this. So, yeah, not all stretch bracelets are bad. It was a general statement that I personally don't prefer stretch bracelets, but there are some very nice ones. There are some very nice vintage ones. There are some very nice new ones. And there are some crap ones, which is probably true about every single piece of jewelry that was ever made. <laughs> so this, thankfully, is a nicer one. I like this one. And the stretch is not, you know, it's not uh, super tight. So it, it sits comfortably on my wrist. So guess who's keeping this? <laughs> That's right. And here's another one. I like these two. I don't know if I'm coordinated enough to tie it around my wrist. But it's very pretty. It, You know, it would look good with this one. Because I do tend to double up my... I wear, when I wear the stretch bracelets, I wear about five of them on my wrist at the same time. I also do it with silver chains. I don't know why. I just, I, I have a big bulky chain. I'll have to wear them on the video sometime. And I put all other silver chains on it. I don't know, because I'm weird that way. See, that one's kind of comfortable too. That's not pinching. So, you know, I could wear, see, I tend to wear them like that. Just all... And then this one. Like that. I like that. I like that layered look. So that's a good that's a good set for layering. Guess who's keeping them? <laughs> oh my goodness, look at the size of this ring. Look at this ring. Come on. Come on. Look at that. Now this is one of those stretch rings. So I'm not sure how I feel about a stretch ring. I mean, generally they, they're too tight. That big snake one that took up my whole finger, if you guys caught the first half, um, that was a stretch one, but it's very comfortable. And this one, the nice thing about this one is it fits on my middle finger. I don't know, I may keep it. Cause I love, look, I mean, how can you not, as long as the camera focuses, how can you not love that? I mean, that's a cocktail ring. That's to get noticed. Keep all the things, that's right. I'm just gonna keep that too. <laughs> I might find a couple of things in here I sell. Oh, man. <laughs> Here's another one. Uh, how do you part with things like this? Like, I, maybe I'll just wear it a couple of places and then, come on camera, force you to focus. Nope, it's just, 
It's very pretty though. It's got uh, green rhinestones on the inside and then on the filigree around the, the edge, it's got purple and blue and some that look kind of Aurora Borealis on the outside. Very, very pretty. She does. She um, she takes a lot of care and she asked me what I like first. And I told her and then she asked me to see examples and I and I showed her some examples of some of the things that I have that are my favorite pieces. And she just put this lot together for me. Just like I mean, she knows, you know, that boy, do I not match? I've got these funky mod earrings and snake. That's me. I don't match. <laughs> so this is a pin and a pendant, it looks like. Can be either one. This is great. <sighs> My camera, there it goes. Look at that. Now this one, I do love it, but I don't think I'd ever wear it. So I'll probably sell this one. But that's really pretty. I like it. And on the back, it has these extra rings here which I assume are for, this would be for a pendant, but what is this one for? Um, I don't know. <laughs> every time, every time you decide to keep, uh, Peyton says every time you decide to keep something, you have to sell something of your own. That's actually a rule when you're living in a tiny lifestyle is that if you bring one thing in, you have to take one thing out. So if you bring something in, you have to get rid of something else. And I've really been trying to adapt to that. This box may have just blown that whole, that whole idea. Last night we said, we were talking about the fact that we realized that we're kind of, we've kind of been buying too much stuff. So we have to get back to, oh, the lolly. This is my last little package. Oh, uh. And I just keep unwrapping more and more gorgeousness. Where do I start? They're bracelets. Okay, another stretch bracelet, but that's okay because look at it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. And when you're not wearing it, you can use it as shakers in a band. It could be your own band. <laughs> Here's another one that's very pretty too. This one kind of has that Celtic look, doesn't it? Oh, it reminds me of something that my ancestors would have worn. Very pretty. And here's another beachy. Oh, and it says peace on it. Oh, where'd it go? Look, I make a claim and then I hide it. It says peace. Very pretty. I like that one too. <laughs> I like them all. Give them all to me. And here's another one. That's nice. I like the raw shape, you know? I like, that's a big thing with boho is that things are natural and, you know, the regular, like, uh, earth elements and things like that. So this raw stone look here is right, right in fitting with the boho look that I like so much. Definitely. Uh, my husband's can come home. And he's going to laugh at me. Oh, no, this one doesn't fit over my hand. <clears throat> it's a stretch bracelet, but it doesn't have a lot of stretch in it. And it won't go over my hand without breaking it. But look at that. Look how pretty. So this one's going to be sold, too, I'm afraid. See, it's got, I think it's older because that's kind of yellow there. But we will... Put that one up for sale. So if anybody likes it, just give me a drop me a line. 
on Facebook <clears throat> or Instagram. I'm on both as, uh, well, you can find me on Facebook <clears throat> under Mary Lucas or in Margaret's Texas Gal Treasure Traders and Texas Gal Jewelry Lovers groups where I am an admin in both. I am also a new admin in Jocelyn Elizabeth's <laughs> Old Things Identification Group. She is the crazy lamp lady on YouTube and um, she is great. And that's a great group for, you know, just all things, all, all things, all things collectible and vintage. And if you don't catch her on YouTube, you really should, if you're into that stuff. And I'm also Meriwether Market on Instagram and probably everywhere, eBay and Etsy and all over the place. So I'm pretty easy to find. <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice. That's a lot of talking. So that was it. That's everything. I'm super impressed. Seriously, if you want to buy a large lot of, of jewelry, check out Texas Gal Treasure Traders. Look for Mary Ross and hit her up because I am impressed not only with the packaging, but with the fact that she really went into detail to pick out, you know, things that I like. Thank you, Peyton. Well, Meriwether is my name. And so I just put market on the end. It was pretty easy to figure out, but uh, thank you guys for, for hanging out with me and watching me unbox this stuff. That was fun. And if you liked the video, please click the thumbs up because it makes me happy. And if you didn't like the video, feel free to click the thumbs down or feel free to just go, Hey, I didn't like that video. I think I'm going to go watch another one. <laughs> so you guys have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.